Hey everybody! So for today's video, we will talk about the Rodext, which is if you don't know is important for Telra and Title Ra command. Raw text are used to send and display rich text to players. And what I mean about rich text is with Rodex, you can combine different text objects and components in a single command only. And in this video, I'll explain to you all of the possible components that you can use for raw text. Starting from a normal text component, up to the most rarely used component, the translate component. By the way, this video will not gonna be possible without the help of Bedrock Wiki. Bedrock Wiki is an awesome website rich with Minecraft knowledge. Whether you're looking for a guide about creating add-on, scripting, or even guide about commands. So if you're interested to visit that website, I'll leave the link for you in the video description. I'll also leave the link there directly to the Rodex components. So yeah, without further ado, let's start this tutorial. examples, I will use a tell raw command. Now, starting with the most basic one, the text component. Basically, you can use the text component to display a text. Very simple and easy to understand. Here's the command. So here, inside the quotation marks, you can change the text that you want to display. Now, here's an example if you want to add a quotation mark within your text. As you can see, it has a quotation mark before and after the word chin. If you want to add a quotation mark within your text, you just need to add a backslash before the quotation mark. As easy as that. Now, if you want to create a new lines like this, you only need to add a backslash and end to create a new line. You can also add symbols in the text. You just need to add a backslash and then the Unicode of the symbol. You can also check in the Bedrock Wiki for the Unicode of symbols. I'll leave a direct link to that part in the video description. You can also display the name of any entity as a text. Here's the command. With selector component, you can display the name of a player's or even mobs. And just like a normal selector, you can also use filters to make it detect specific entities only. As you can see, it only detects puffer fish. You can also display the scoreboard score in raw text. As you can see, it's matching the score that I set. Here's the scoreboard component format. Here you can set the selector. You can also add a filter like a normal target selector. And here you can set the objective name of your scoreboard. To make it simple, you can also just put asterisk on the name part. The asterisk will target the reader of the text instead. All right, now here's the most rarely used Rodex component, the translate component. Basically, with translate component, you can use the localized texts in Minecraft files or from a resource pack and display it as text. There are tons of localized texts that you can display using the translate component. Like this one, this is the text message whenever a player has been killed by fall damage. Although, in my opinion, using localized texts aren't really as game changer as you think since you can just use a simple text component to display the same text. 
However, if you combine the localized text with the with subcomponent, so let's just call it translate with component to make it easier to remember. Anyways, with translate with component, you can specify certain parts from a certain localized text. This is the same translate component we used from the previous example. Now check the difference. The ones has now been replaced with a text, which is chicken jockey. Now, you don't actually need to always use a localized text when using translate component. You can also use it to display a normal text. But unlike using the text component, adding S in translate component will be replaced with the text that is inside the with subcomponent. Actually, if you're making a simple text like this, I would recommend to use the text component instead, as text component is much more easier to use than the translate component. However, I'll show you the advantage of translate component pretty soon, and maybe it would be helpful for you at some point. You can also add multiple S within the translate component, and it will be filled in the order with the text in with subcomponent. So in this example, this one will be replaced by this, and this one will be replaced by this. You can also change the order of filling in translate component by replacing the S in S with a number instead. So in this example, it will display red is better than blue, but green is even better. So this one will be replaced by this, and this one will be replaced by this, and this will be replaced by this. Now let's see the actual output. Now, this could be one of the useful way of using a translate component. You can also control the translate component with scoreboard. By modifying the scoreboard score, you can change the text that will be displayed to players. For this one, we will need to add an entirely new raw text within the with subcomponent. And within that raw text, we need to add a scoreboard component and text components. The scoreboard component will decide which one from the text components will be used for the percent 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 s. For this one, you need to use percent 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 s instead of percent percent s. That percent percent s will be replaced by one of the text component, depending on the scoreboard score. So in this example, if a player has a team score of 1, it will display you are on red team to them. So in this example, if a player has a team score of 1, it will display you are on red team to them. And if a player has a team score of 2, it will display you are on green team to them. And for players that has a team score of 3, it will display you are on blue team. Now for the last example, which is actually the same as the previous one. But on this one, I'll show you that you can change an entire text using scoreboard. So it's like having multiple telraw commands in a single telraw command. Let's check it out. See, it's like 5 Telraw commands in a single Telraw command. But yeah, everything that I showed to you are possible using title raw command as well. So yeah, I do hope you learned something from this video. And if you have any feedback or question about this video, feel free to comment it down below. So yeah, before I end this video, I would like to mention all of my channel members. Thank you for all of the supports that you're giving on this channel. May all of you will have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye.